Uh, friends, thank you so much. Thank you so much and welcome uh, to Adventist Angels Watch on our radio. I'm glad uh, for a peaceful moment which the Lord has granted us a special opportunity for us to hear from Him. There is a death in the pot, a wild vine. There is a death in the pot, a wild vine. So this message of today is very essential for uh, our faith because it is encouraging us how uh, we should keep on learning uh, from the Lord. How uh, we should be learning uh, from the Lord. The Lord is so gracious that He wants us to learn from Him. Um, and this message is going to uh, embolden us and even to prepare us uh, for the task before us in these last days which we live. So let's pray even as we start. Almighty Father, the Father of Jesus Christ, praise, glory, and honor be unto you, our King. Be uplifted unto all ends of the earth. Thank you for the opportunity of life. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for this day, Lord, that you may be uplifted to all ends of the earth. Lord, praise and honor be unto you. Teach us and speak to us in this morning. Lord, prepare us for thy kingdom. Father, we seek thy spirit in these hard times which we live. We seek for thy guidance, O Master of the universe. Lord, help us, Lord, to be attached, to cleave to you in these times which we live. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I believe. Amen. There is death in the pot, a wild vine. This message comes from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 40, which says, So they poured uh, they poured out uh, they poured out for the men to eat and it came to pass as they were eating of the pottage that they cried out and they said oh thou man of God there is death in the pot and they could not eat thereof so as you can say that Jezebel had prophets uh, the man of God Elisha also had prophets he had prophets they had a school teaching them. But also, uh, despite that uh, Elisha had a school to teach the children of Israel, the people of Papron also have uh, prophets. Like Jezebel had 454 prophets and the 400 prophets of the groves. Uh, that is a message for us to learn. But you, uh, we are going to study more about Elisha. Is that uh, as he had a school to teach the people, a different message also was coming here. People forgot that Elisha had commanded them to be fed. They went outside. They went outside to look for herb, a different education, a different philosophy, which actually brought a problem. It brought a problem. Uh -huh. The servant of God, Elisha, he said, give these people food to eat. Like Jesus Christ said uh, to his disciples, give these people food to eat. Give these people food to eat. But the people, many people even in our time, many leaders, many have sought the wisdom of the world. Many have sought the food of the world. Then there comes a problem. There comes a problem therein. Oh, thou, thou man of God, there is death in the pot and they could not eat thereof. What are you eating in these last days? Have we ever heard the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 3, uh, 2 and 3, which says there is a woman which has made the world mad by her deities, by her food, by their uh, drunkenness, which has made the world to drink and to eat? So also it was in the time of Jezebel. So let's go and understand the historical part of uh, the message we want to deal with. Climate finance, key to sustainability future. People are looking for many years upon the earth. People are looking for many peaceful days. Even they want to have uh, taxing, like the time of Jesus Christ when he was born. So you know, it's much essential in this time because this time we are having... Uh, Christmas approaching, people don't so don't see eye to eye. 
what is just in store for us. People don't see what the, the devil is preparing behind the scenes because there is the issue of taxing. Climate what? Climate finance. A key to sustainability future. As crisis will increase and such like, they say, you know, it's because of climate change and such, they say we will tax you. That was happening in the time of the Roman Empire, during the time of Sister uh, Caesar Augustus, the time of Augustus, Emperor Augustus. So, you understand we are heading to such a time again. Emperors are arising again. Romanism of old, the principles of old are is actually rising. The doctrines, the teachings, the school of uh, emperors in those times, dystopian society, it is emerging. So discussions on climate finance and the carbon credits have gained sufficient attention from decision makers, group of leaders, and uh, ordinary citizens. And ordinary citizens. You see? Uh, you just see what is happening before us is that uh, people are returning people are returning for help from other means people are returning for help from other means so may god help us to be faithful citizens so there is issue of carbon credits what is this carbon credits it is uh, like in china we had uh, something they were called uh, uh, social credits social credits carbon credits and the such like you see we are going to pay for the air we breathe you don't see finance and carbon credits and again it's a new consultation from decision makers group of leaders and ordinary citizens so what did the sister white tell us on this thing which are is getting significant attention from decision makers who are decision makers judges uh -huh parliaments, congress, uh, group of leaders, and ordinary citizens. What did Sister White tell us about widespread apprehension about the future? The present is a time of overwhelming interest to all living, rulers and statesmen, men who occupy positions of trust and uh, authority. Men who do what? Rulers and statesmen, men who occupy positions of trust, parliaments, uh-huh, uh-huh, positions of trust and authority thinking men and women of all classes thinking men we are all including all these people thinking men that's ordinary people and men of all classes have their attention significant attention friends have their attention fixed upon the events taking place upon us they are watching the relations that exist among the nations they observe the intensity that is taking possession of every artery element and they recognize that something great and decisive is about to take place that the world is on the verge of a stupendous crisis proverbs and kings page 537 page 537 and also a copy from 1914 so there is a man here a key man known as vitange uh, demo who was saying that climate finance is key to sustainability future what did you think about this this man is a kissy i don't know this man is a kissy and he says the discussions on climate from decision makers, group of leaders, and ordinary citizens is very important. It's significant. It has attracted the attention of the world. But to get climate finance requires organizations and the citizens. So we are having organizations uh -huh, and also citizens to adopt sustainable habits. A change of habits, you know? A change of habits. We are in the background again. We need to change habits. Will we change habits, you know, in a uh, when the children of uh, Israel were taken to captivity before Nebuchadnezzar, they were told to change habits, sustainable habits, because they were in the papron. They were told, you know what, you have to change habits. The man of eating, the man of doing things, you are going to change habits. Uh-huh. Climate finance requires organizations, groupings, groups, friends. Groups are coming. These are monopolies. As uh, other people say, we will be having trade unions and such like. These are organizations which are forming climate finance and such like. Uh, like we had uh, who World Health Organization in such a time and such like. Uh, these are organizations which are being formed. And the citizens are adopting sustainable habits. Like what? Using green energy. You know what? 
the devil is looking that he is caring so much but behind the scenes there is something which is cooking so what is what do we run today resilience day a vaccination farm resolve against all crises calamities the speaker says uh -huh. it evokes nations from uh, resolving against all crises and calamities. let's end our calamities by doing what clean energy green energy and such like oh friends this is a the uh this is a, a change which has come in this time you know i read the book of uh the book of second kings there was death in the pot whose teachings were those those teachings uh, were of uh, death in the pot were not were not of a uh, were not those of elisha elisha uh, who was the prince of peace who was a prophet of peace had said that, that they were to prepare food for the people but these people uh, saw it best this man there is a man who went to go to gather a wild vine but who is the true vine jesus christ is the true vine i am the vine and you are the branches so jesus christ is the word of god he is the bread but this person is so you know what I will not depend upon the word of God. That's why Pope Francis came up with the philosophy of Laudato Si, Laudato Dium. These have made the world mad, and people are crying because of are crying over the agendas of this time. They are crying so much because what is the Pope saying? Pope calls for paradigm shift in theology for world of today. So what do they want? A modern theology, not they say do away with the Bible because it is all. Uh, fundamentalism of age it is all enough so they are adopting a different uh, perspective they are taking matters to their own hands like in the pandemic so in also in calamities they are taking matters into their own hands they are taking it from god they say not what this is our task now for us to do no climate eating by doing less one day a week so they are taking matters to their own hands you know what will happen the time of jesus christ huh? The Jews also took matters to their own hands. In that, uh, they had a revolution in that time. They cried to Jesus Christ and they said, crucify him, crucify him. We don't know him. So even in our time, many people are denying Jesus Christ. Many people are denying the authority of God. Uh -huh. The message which I saw says that unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, his name shall be called, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. But these people uh, who are antichrist of these last days, they have denied Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, and they have even denied the Father. Why? They have taken matters into their own hands because of these teachings. People are taking matters into their own hands. Pope to denote, Pope to donate golden rose to ancient roman icon of blessed virgin mary what does this donating golden rose mean the golden rose is a, a responsibility given to princess it's a responsibility given to princess eh, to do actually it's a gift those are gifts which are given eh, to people to uh, do something it was done 400 years ago this was given uh, in the times of St. Bartholomew Massacre and they, indeed many people perished because kings of the earth, many people without knowledge, uh, they are uniting with Jezebel, they are eating his doctrines, they are uniting with Rome. This is the woman of Revelation 17 who has made the world mad with her teachings. They are uniting with Rome, thinking that uh, he is so caring, he is, he is thinking that this is a message of light, but they don't know that it is Satanism. They don't know that it's darkness. So they are receiving gifts. Like Pope uh, gave the golden rose in the time of the past. He gave Charles. And he did he massacred the Protestants of those times who were different from the papacy. So what is coming in this time? Aha! Uh -huh. Like in the time of uh, pirates, like in the time of, uh, of uh, the Jews, they will say to God, these people, crucify them. Why? The quiet revolution of the Sabbath. What did the Pope say? Aha, uh -huh. a climate revolution. Pope calls for a climate revolution. But what is the world now doing? A quiet revolution of the Sabbath. The world is crying for a revolution. They will say, crucify them, crucify them. When climate activism becomes a religion, this is a religion, it's a movement.
or movement of the purpose whose teaching is making the world mad that of Rome. Stand now. Many in the new world are actually willing to burn the Bible. They don't care. They don't care about the principles of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, what is right. But they say, let's work together. Like in the lockdown, so they are going to lock us down. In this first day lockdown. The same master spirit that urged on the Saint Bartholomew massacre led also in the scenes of the revolution. I know, are we not having the same closing scenes of this artist story like the time of the Jews? Yes, it is coming again. There is a Sabbath war. So when the reasoning of philosophy has punished the fear of God's judgments, when the religious teachers are pointing forward to long ages of peace and prosperity, and the world are absorbed in their rounds of peace and pleasure, planting and peeling, feasting and merrymaking, rejecting God's warning and mocking his messengers, then it is that sudden destruction cometh upon them, and they shall not escape. Patriarchs and Proverbs, page 104, 1890. So, people are looking for many years. They are being snared by the things of the world. When they are doing this and they are looking for means of salvation, when they are taking matters to their own arms, you, they say, you know what? As of this God which you have said, we don't know about him. Like the time of Moses, huh? they said, we don't know what has happened uh, to this Moses. Come, let's have one voice. Come, let's do this. And that, and they worshipped a golden calf before the mountain. So, in these last days, people are being diverted to their own means, they are being diverted to their own letters, their own encyclopedias, their own teachings. So, they are eating at just the very staple. Like Elijah, Elijah had his prophets, and they said, Prepare a meal, prepare food, prepare pots. But here, these people have gone to seek aid from Jezebel's table, from Rome. They are going to seek aid from Rome. And that is very dangerous because uh, they are eating teachings from Rome. They are taking teachings from Rome, Jezebel's table. But also, Elijah, uh, Elisha, are this table, God's table, the prayer, the man of heaven. The, uh, have you ever heard about uh, the pot of manna? Yes, here is what was prepared. There was manna, food which was prepared. There was food already, which Elisha knew how it was going to be found. But here these people went to the wild to look for a wild vine. And they prepared uh, poisonous things, uh, which has made kings of the earth and made people mad. What is these teachings? Rome is in cyclical identity into your classroom. So this is Papua University. Students around the world, you know, uh, Nebuchadnezzar was ruling around the world. He was ru ruling all over the world. So whose teachings are these? They are the teachings of Nebuchadnezzar or Papron, which are making the world mad. Pope Francis sets the table for the upcoming climate summit. Did Elisha have a table? Yes, Elisha had a table with his prophets. But here the purpose also has a table for his apostate children. Revelation chapter 17 verses 5 speaks of this woman. Revelation 17 verses 5 speaks that this woman is a mother of Arots, Arot daughters who have departed from the faith. Revelation 17 verses 5 what the Bible says, And upon her, that is Jezebel, upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Papron the Great. Papron again? Yes! And this Papron is making students around the world mad with her teachings of Laodicea. There is an evolution, a quiet revolution for what? For a Sabbath. They are taking matters to their own hands. So, Mystery, Papron the Great, the mother of Arots, so she has daughters and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the, mother, uh, blood of the saints. And with the plan of the matter of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. So this is the papacy. Uh, who is setting the table. They have forgotten that this man, like Proverbs 7 says, that they have forgotten that many have gone to this house and are perished. They have forgotten that Rome has shed much blood. They have gone back to Rome. Oh friends, where is their mind? Their mind is upon the things of the world. Pope says astronauts see art from the eyes of God. Who do you think is trying to act God? Who is trying to act the good shepherd? Pope Francis says I'm acting the good shepherd. I'm acting God. So friends, Las Vegas Archbishop Pope Francis has opened our hearts and our doors. So, who are they following? It's Rome. I felt that Africans should also be part of this. Meet the Kenyan star gazers, parents, children to look to the sky. 
looked to the sky. Who I wonder through whose eyes are they looking to the sky? COP28, Africa must define our path to sustainable future now. They are looking for many years. Sustainable future, a good future. So, Demo, uh, this man from KCB, Tank and Demo, who do you think you are following? You are drinking from Rome. You are following the teachings of Rome, which has made the world mad in this time. So, choose you whom you will serve this day. Choose you who you will serve this day. Uh -huh. Choose you whom you will serve this day. Are you eating from Jezebel? It's temple 1 Kings 18 19. Now, therefore, send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel and the province of Pal 450 and the province of the groves who were province of the groves were 400, which eat at Jezebel temple. This Jezebel temple. Pope sets the temple for the upcoming climate summit. Don't you see that we this is the last days? A decision must be made. Come when it may, the day of God will come on a west with the ungodly. When life is going on in this unvarying round, when men are absorbed in pleasure, the future for so many years, huh? peace and prosperity. What they are seeing this in the business, in the traffic, in the money making. When the religious leaders are magnifying the world is progress and enlightenment, enlightenment in science and enlightenment, and the people are lured in a false sense of security. Then, save, save, saving the Shanab saver. Uh, saving the climate and such, then as the million thief steals within the unguarded dwelling, so shall sudden destruction come upon the careless and the ungodly, and they shall not escape. The great controversy, page 38. Who will you serve? Over the purple shoulder, an expression of spirituality in bronze. So, who is this, who is this spiritual leader? Over the purple shoulder, but the Bible says, Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, we should ask wisdom from him, Jesus Christ. But who is this trying to act that he has government upon his shoulder? Who is this trying to act that he has the key of David? Who is this trying to act Jesus who has given the keys of heaven and earth? It is the papacy. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Psalms 140 verse 11. A warning. It's a day of trouble and of rebuke. I said at 7 verse 3. And they said unto him, That said Zechariah, This day is a day of trouble. It's a time of trouble and of rebuke and of blasphemy. A man is calling himself God. A man is saying that he has power on his shoulder. A man is saying, For the children are come to the path. Before she travailed, she brought forth. And there is not strength to bring forth. So, before these times happens there is an abomination there is a man who is denying that jesus christ has come in the flesh and is taking matters to his own hands but he has false prophets who are following his path who are eating from his table pop ask the faith to be modern prophets modern prophets these are false prophets by guiding others to the holy spirit these are false prophets friends i tell you uh these are false prophets and i wonder why there is many lack of a spiritual understanding in this time because many are for this modern false prophets who are guiding others to fall to a ditch if the blind lead the blind they shall put fall to a ditch Pope francis senator jan is a challenge and a task for american seminaries what what do you think the pope is leading these people to do what is this challenge it's an a support challenge for the evangelicals peace of prince of peace they are even are acting to bring peace they are acting to end pandemic as they did in the pandemic so they will do in the war so they will do in the famines in the calamities in the land generally so they did in the time of elijah there was that same movement u.s evangelicals drive republican support for israel day of trouble friend rules of order accessing the state of global government governance did not uh jezebel uh okay did not um and Nebuchadnezzar ruled the whole world. Did he not? Did he not the realm of all? Was not the realm ruling the whole world even in the uh, land of Judea? Yes, we are told that uh, uh, there were taxes which were being offered. Climate taxes which we are studying here today in this time. Huh? We are having taxes, credit scores and such, green energy. Uh -huh. These are the teachings of Rome which are making the world mad. But it is for you to choose whom you will serve. Will you serve this group of uh, organization thing? There is this man who is rejoicing in calamities as Proverbs 17 verse 5 says. There is a prince who is mocking his maker. 
he, he is saying that Jesus Christ has, no, has not come in the flesh. And so they are taking matters in their own hands because they are reducing the calamities so that people can look to them. Friends, now, why does thou cry out aloud? Why is the world crying aloud? Why is the world crying? Is the world crying aloud? Yes. The book of 2 Kings we saw, the sons of the prophets, they were saying, Oh, Master, there is death in the pot. Why are you crying so much aloud? Is there no king in it? Is there cancer of perishing? For pangs have taken it as a woman in travail before she brought forth. Aha, uh -huh, there is this. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name is this. This is the one we should ask. But these people have denied Jesus Christ that has come into flesh. So what are they doing? They are pointing people to Jezebel. They are pointing people to Rome. And the world is becoming mad. Uh, is becoming mad. So the positive impact of, uh, of it is already in evidence in many developing countries. Funds for investment is a renewable energy prof uh, funds. For investment in renewable energy pro projects can in turn foster the development of sustainable future in Africa. Many years, peaceful years, uh -huh, they are looking for. Uh -huh, they are looking for. And if you don't unite with these movements which are happening, the Lord is not in po these political movements, as Sister White tells us. If you don't unite with these movements, you will be accounted uh, as an enemy. Look up what happened in the time of Constantine, in the time of N Nero. There was persecutions which was beginning in the time of Nero, about the time of the martyrdom of Paul, which continued gr with greater or less for uh, f rest of fury for centuries. Christians were falsely accused during the time of Elijah, was accused. You are the one who is dropping us from uniting. One voice, one religion, one government, one currency, one digital thing. Control, save, save net, save internet, freedom of speech, for France, say that's limits and such. Like. Save, common, common thing, huh? which uh, is evil. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obadiah took an hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. So what is happening here is the time of trouble which is emerging. That time of trouble is here again. People are going back to Rome. You know the time when Elisha stood up, there was a long prophecy. There was a long prophecy about Jezebel who was to fall, who was to be eaten with the dogs. His answer he will not be eaten, but he was to be eaten by dogs. Who are dogs? Who are the dogs? <laughs> Who are the dogs? They are equated like the Gentiles. Jesus Christ gave a message about the Syrophoenician woman. He said we cannot give this food to dogs, to the Gentiles. The Gentiles shall come and they did, they would do something. What would the Gentiles do with Jezebel and her daughters? They would eat them. They will eat them. That is Ezekiel chapter 8 and chapter 9. He said, God, the Gentiles shall come. Uh, judgment must begin in the house of God. Judgment must begin in the house of God. So, it must begin in the house of God. There is this woman who has made the world mad with our teachings. Climate change and the rise of the Roman Empire. Not only the Roman Empire, church and the state, Roman church is rising, friend. COP28 and fossil fuels, you say, Spock. But the United Arab Emirates energy minister wants it to lead us back to the dark ages, back to the caves. We are going to hiding. Why? There is a Sabbath, a quiet revolution of the Sabbath, enforcing the Sabbath. Like in the time of Nero, they say, you know, we must rest and they set aside a Sabbath of their creation for paganism, for sun worship, for Sunday worship. How climate change and disease sped up the fall of Rome? Uh -huh. This is the story of the time of old, which is happening now. Time. There is a movement, a quiet revolution, a Sabbath revolution. As for, for Francis said, a revolution is needed to combat climate change. So what is going to happen in this time very soon, they are going to be crying for crucify them. Because you see, there is social credit, social credit which seeks to assign citizens' scores, engineer social behavior. You must change your eating habits. You must change how you do not be doing what. Do not be a predator exhausting the art. As Pope Francis says, launches green initiative, the crying predatory attitude towards the planet. So you are misusing the art. You are going too much. There is death in the pot, friend. So these are the teachings of Rome which are making the world mad. Taxing, friend. Taxing. Was not, was not there taxing before Jesus Christ was born? What would happen before the church of God is born? As the book of Isaiah 6, 6 says, and when the dragon saw 
that uh, he was cast okay to be taxed with Mary is a spouse the wife being great with child taxed Luke 2 to, uh, verse 5 and when the dragon saw the dragon Egypt was also taxing the people they were even destroying young children who were being born aha uh -huh. and they said these people are many they are increasing they are extending their messages to the world so we must have limits we must limit how you you are bringing forth for the sake of fossils we must have limits how you do what you have children uh -huh, speed governors and such like and the dragon so that the uh -huh, the dragon was sad because the child was going to be born many are being brought forth children are being going are being brought to the uh to be, children are being upon uh, there is a time there is the same claim of divine authority for Sunday keeping and the same lack of the scriptural evidence as in the days of papal supremacy. The, the assertion that God's judgments are visited upon men for their violation of the Sunday Sabbath will be repeated. Already it's beginning to be urged. And they came it to a cave. So it is bringing us back to the dark ages. Great discourse and such like. This is what in demo is speaking about. Industry spanning solar, wind and hydro electric power are successfully reduced. Reduced. Speed governance even in the part. Reduced. You know, they say you are too much. So you are bringing much air to the carbon to the air. So we must reduce you. This is the agenda of the pandemic and such like. Industries spanning solar, wind and hydro hydroelectric power have successfully reduced the dependency on fossil fuels. Significantly reducing greenhouse gas emissions. What was the function of a reset in the pandemic? A reset in the pandemic. A lockdown is the agenda of the devil because he wants a day of rest. A day of rest. Uh -huh. Climate eating by doing what? One day by doing one day by doing less. Less one day a week. So it's a lockdown. One day lockdown in a week. So that you can help the environment and such. Like in the pandemic. Huh? So it's the agenda of the devil. And I do suffer that's been set up. Uh -huh. As the golden image was set up in the presence of Dura, and as Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Papron, issued a decree that all would not bow down and worship this golden image should be killed. So a proclamation would be made all over the world that those who would not reverence the Sunday institution would be punished with imprisonment and death. That is the Sabbath that the Lord is trampled underfoot. This is the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast. The mark of the papacy. Uh -huh. America is own social credit system. You see what is coming? Carbon credits and how they can offset your carbon foot footprints. Don't you see? There will be no buying and selling. This is the issue, climate behavior. The Lord of Heaven promised the world to choose whom they would have as their ruler. Either the God of Jesus Christ who was the key of David or the purpose who is saying that he was given the key by Peter. Abomination. Abomination. Let all read carefully the 13th chapter of Revelation, for it is concerns every human agent, every human being, great and small. Uh, warning to you, choose you whom you reserve this day, the papacy or the God of heaven. Concurrently, climate finance has played an instrumental role in supporting reforestation and afforestation programs. But what is God looking for? He's looking for the plantings of the Lord. As Matthew 14, Matthew 15 says that God is looking for every plant which is fat as not planted, it shall be uprooted. It shall be uprooted. But these people are looking for reforestation and afforestation programs. They don't care what kind of. But God is looking for uh, the plants of, of righteousness. As the book of Isaiah says, he was looking for the plants of righteousness, uh, which has been established. But these people don't care. They are gathering everything. They are gathering wild vines. Everything. There is death in the pot. There is death in the pot. It's a time of trouble, friends, and perplexity. Breaking down the walls and crying to the mountains. People are crying to the mountains, as I cited 2.5 says. They are not crying to the God of heaven, no. They are crying to the mountains. Do you know what this crying for the mountains means? Aha! Uh -huh. In Mount Kamel, there was something which was happening. The 440, 450 false prophets and the 400 prophets of the groves, they were crying to the mountains. They were thro throwing down the wall. They were uh, breaking down the foundations of the gospel uh, so that they can appreciate their own traditions. They even wanted a one world government and such like false friend. This is the agenda of the papacy. Uh -huh. Of, cre of uh, paying for green policies. It is time of engineering the sky. They are taking matters to their own hands. They are looking for a Sabbath for the earth. Engineering is Sabbath for the earth. 
for promotion come at nature from the east no 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 from the west no from the south it's come from the heaven friends psalm 75 verse 6 do not look to men look to god the latest research from my kings my uh, kingsley solving the climate finance equation for developing countries achieving the paris agreement objectives and limiting limiting group of warming and such like you know this thing it is bringing evil because it's going to bring uh movements trading unions which are saying you know we are perishing we need to rest we need to do this and such like it's of evil results it's a quiet revolution it's a revolution which uh, is uh, serving the people of Rome. Central to the study is the assertion, assertion that developing countries must assume a significant role or attention in solving the global net zero equation. As in the Shannon, they want a uh, net zero what? A pestilence 19. Huh? So even this time, they say net zero equation. As they said uh, in above, is from COVID to CO2. So things are, are increasing. Evil shall go from nation to nation. You have worked with footmen. What will happen when horsemen will come? What will happen when horsemen will come therein? Oh, choose you whom you will serve this day. This thing is uh, bringing evil results. Choose you to serve the Lord. Do not serve the papacy. It's an abomination uh, in this time. We live in critical times, last days of the artist's history. And Jesus Christ is about to come. Do not follow these men who are eating from Jezebel's temple. The sixth plague. The spirits of devils will go forth to the kings of the earth and to the whole world to fasten them in deception and urge them on to unite with Satan in his last struggle against the government of heaven. The great controversy, page 624. In the time of Pharaoh, there were spirits of evil which were people were uniting with Satan and they were now attacking God's people who were in the land in Egypt. So we, this is Egypt. People are uniting with the devil, and this place is becoming an happy temple. Where did the woman run to? The woman ran to the wilderness where she had freedom. Where did it, people? Do you know that Egypt was repeated in the time of uh, America? Protestants ran from Rome, from Rome with uh, government, from Rome with uh, leadership. Why? Because Rome was becoming Egypt, it was becoming Sodom, it was becoming oppressive. They came to America where they established religious and religious freedom. The freedom of conscience was protected. They ran to America. But now a change has come. And is America becoming an happy temple? Is the world also coping the same? Yes. Where do you think all these people are going to flee to? So, the Spirit of God is gradually withdrawing from the world, like in Pharaoh's time. Satan is also mastering his forces of evil, going forth onto the kings of the earth and of the old world. So, the kings of the earth are becoming like dragon voice, like God calls Egypt a dragon. Eh? So, onto the kings of the earth and of the old world, to gather them onto the banner, onto his banner, to do what? To be trained, to be trained. So, like Elisha, Elisha wanted to... Uh, the, for, the province to eat from the pot, which is said, said to be set. But these people went to look for a wild vine. They went to look for a false Christ. They went to look for a, a false counselor. They went to look for another father, the father of this world, which they called the uh, Pope Francis, so called. They went to look here from Rome, like the sea, to eat their calamities and like. They went to be trained from Rome, friend. They are gathering to Rome, not to God. So they want to gather themselves under his banner. The, if they say, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10, Cast thy lot, let's be of one pass. Do not go for them, for they are going to shed blood, like the time of Elijah, like the time of Jezebel. She shed a lot of blood. People are to go back to the caves, back to the caves, friends, to gather them under his banner, to be trained for the battle of that great day of God. Back to the caves, the battle of that great day of God Almighty. So after John's description in the Revelation 16 of that miracle working power, which was to gather the world to the last great conflict, the symbols are dropped and the trumpet voice once more gives a certain sound saying, Behold, I come as a thief. Look to Jesus who is coming. Blessed is he that watch it and keep it these garments. What is these garments? These are trees of righteousness. His garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. They see is a shame. Do you know the first time people walked naked? It's because they listened to the beast in the Garden of Eden. These last days there is a beast, and people are going to walk naked. They will be found in their shame. Why? They are looking to the devil. They are looking to man's principles, the dragon voice of Egypt. They are looking to man's solutions, rather than looking to the king of heaven, 
who has given a child who has been given to us. They have denied Jesus Christ that he has come in the flesh. They don't want to look to Jesus. They don't want to look up. But they are looking to men. They are looking to mountains. They are looking for promotion from the east, the west, south and the south. They don't want to look to heaven. Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world. Do not look for security in this world. This world is evil. The world would have forgotten the admonition and the ones of God. As it is the absence of the neotic time, no his time. As did also the dwellers in Sodom. They are work with all their plans and their plans, evolution, future credit, credit score and such, future plans and inventions of iniquity. But suddenly, uh -huh, severity, <coughs> suddenly the shower of fire came from heaven and consumed the godless in absence who took their matters to their own hands. That shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Luke 17, 30. Choose you whom you will serve in this day. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Aha! Uh -huh. So they poured out the men. They poured out for the men to eat. And it came to pass, as they were eating of the pottage, that they cried out and said, O oh, thou man of God! There is a death in the pot, and they could not eat thereof. We are living in the last days. People are looking to men. These things are not going to easen. They are going to increase in strength and in power. It is going to be more painful. Before she brought forth, she travailed. There was pain. Like in the time of Jacob's trouble, ahead, Jacob was going to meet his brother. Behind, his, uh, his father, Rapan, is seeking him because he went out a prop tree. He went out of Egypt a prop tree. You know they were worshiping idols. He went out from Egypt abruptly. So uh, that time has come. Where we free to, we need to free to God and make uh, peace with God because it's the time of darkness. It was the breaking of the day. It must be the breaking of the day. Before, before she put she brought forth, uh -huh, she travelled. She travelled. So it's, it's even the time when Zion is about to travel and bring forth his children. So, before the church is brought forth, it must pass through a very hard deal. Like the time of Pharaoh in Egypt. There was plagues in Egypt. There mu we must pass through these plagues because men are looking to men for solutions. It's go going to be more painful because they are eating from Jezebel. They don't want to look to God. They are looking to the papacy. They are looking to men. Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha. Uh -huh. These are, are false virgins. They are not wise. 2 Kings 4 at 8. And Elisha came again to Gilgal. And there was a death in the land. There is a death in the land even this time. Time of trouble, crisis and calamities. The sons of the prophets were sitting before him. They were sitting before who? Before Elisha. And they said unto his servant, Set on the great pot and sit pottage for the sons of the prophets. Sit, set on the great pot and sit pottage for the sons of the prophets. So that they can eat. So he had a solution for it. So he said, set a great pot. But this man, so you know what? He took matters to his own hands. He mixed, he mixed it with the world. This spiritualism, he mixed it with the world, world. As the book of Revelation 16 tells us, book of Revelation chapter 16, uh, book of Revelation chapter 16, uh, there is a place where Pai says, there is, these are spirits of devils. Revelation 16, Verse 13. And I saw three unscreened spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophets. These are three movements which came together. There's a wildlings, Protestantism, and the papists. Uh, prote uh, Protestantism, wildlings, and uh, the papacy will unite. And uh, they will seek for solutions. They will receive the word. Apostate. It is apostasy. They don't want to look to God anymore. Hosea chapter 7 verse 8. Ephraim has mixed himself among the people. To the world. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured this strength. The world has mixed with, with paganism like the time of Nero. Paganism. And he, he knows it is not. Yet grey hairs are here and there upon him. Yet he knows not. There is a problem here and there. You know the time of the of Elisha. Even the time of Elijah. People were coming from far off. To look seek for aid from Israel, from the prophets, but they never understood that their God was in th uh, was having a servant. God was having his servants. God was having his messengers. They needed wish wisdom from above, not wisdom from this world. So, and the pride of Israel testified to his face, and they do not return to the Lord their God. 
So Elisha, the voice of Elijah must be heard again. Return to the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Look to Jesus. Do not look to men. No. Seek the Lord for all this. First John chapter 3 verse 1. Behold, what man of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knows us not, because it knew him not. They never knew. The world never knew that there was a, a wonderful cancer in the midst of them. They never knew that there was help before them. So they were departing more and more from God. So beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. Look to Jesus. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So like the time of Elijah, the voice must be heard to turn the people like the uh osea osea has given a message saying that these people must be turned these people must be turned to god they never these people don't want to turn to god uh-huh and the pride of israel testified to his face and they do not return to the lord their god no do what no seeking for all this they don't know how they need wisdom where they should seek it from they are using comparing like the time of Jezebel, for people to conform to their ways of worship, to conform to their religions, to their tenets, to their philosophies. This is a, a wild vine which has been introduced to the pot. A wild vine which has been introduced to the pot. Like they introduced the Nero to the pot. Nero is teaching to the pot. And the one went out in the field to gather herbs and found a wild vine and gathered there over. This is the teachings of Rome. Wild gas is loveful. And they came and they shred them into the pot of pottage. For they knew them not. Teachings from Rome. Philosophy. So they poured out for the men to eat. And it came to pass, as they were eating of the pottage, that they cried out and said, O oh, thou man of God, there is death in the pot. And they could not eat thereof. So they are eating from Jezebel's table. Revelation chapter 17 says, uh, Revelation 17 uh, verses 2 says, With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, you are adulterers and adulteresses. Don't you know that the friendship of the world is an enmity with God? Uh -huh. They have committed fornication, and the kings of the earth, the inhabitants of the earth, have been made drunk with the wine of our fornication. Uh -huh. So he carried me again, away in the spirit of the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting upon the scarlet carried piece, full of names of blasphemy. Blasphemy? This man is calling himself God. The papacy, the antichrist in these last days, saying he's acting the good shepherd. He's acting God. See the world through the eyes of Pope Francis. Abomination, friends. Choose whom we will serve at this day. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. They are saying we are one family, just very stable. One family. The papacy that the protesters are now ready to honor is the same that ruled the world the days of the reformation when the men of God stood up at the periods of their lives to expose our iniquity. But a change has come. Pope Francis to separate the brothers. We must cry together, just very stable. Either we are brothers and sisters or everything corrupts. So he's using false friend, Pope Francis. No one becomes a Christian alone. So he's uniting them together to end the calamities. Pope Francis is even changing the word of God. He says evolution and creation is both right. So he does not care about the word of God, what he says. So they say that is the word is billions and millions of years of age. They have denied that the world is now 7,000 years when we are about to go home. So what did, did America say? First Carter James Webb Telescope image reveals 13 billion year old galaxies. Peter administration makes public fast full Kara image from Webb Space Telescope. So these people have one mind. They are uniting with the evolution thing of Rome. Pop apologies for killing Protestants. Who killing Protestants? You know, see, see the history of it? As Revelation uh, 13 2 says that the world is following the papacy, so even in these last days, they are following this peace. They don't know that they have shed a lot of blood. They are uniting, they are saying, Let's be of one past. They are changing rules of the arts, they are changing the order of uh, things. Who will you serve? Will you follow the encyclical letter of Pope Francis, which has made the world mad? Oh, friends, who will you serve? As, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. There is this loud other movement which is launching, which is increasing. Who will you serve? Pope Francis launches program uh, or education 
put ladders into space. These are the teaching, teachings of uh, Papron, teachings of Rome, who will use server. And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the pride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is within them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and they shall then shall they fast. It's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. These people are looking for many years upon the earth. They are rejoicing for many years upon the earth. Yet, probation is coming. Yet, the probation hour is coming. So before she traveled, she brought forth. Before Appen came, she was delivered of a man child. What was happening when Jesus Christ was brought upon the earth? There was taxing. So it is going to happen these last days. There is climate finance taxing. There is such like. And even as we, as the church of, church of God is going to be brought forth, as the church of God is going to be born, huh? those who God is going to take to heaven, huh? before we pass through this ordeal, you know, Israel was born. The Bible says uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, even the book of Exodus, that they were born. God brought a nation out of Egypt. A nation was born out of Egypt. So even in these last days, a nation must be born, must be brought out of Egypt. Before this happened, we must pass through the last breaks because these people have revealed themselves above God. They have, they have an head, like uh, a horse head. They have a head like that of Pharaoh. They don't want to listen to the God of heaven. They have taken matters to their own hands and they have set up a captain who is leading them. Who had asked such a who had who had heard such a thing? Who had seen such a such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth a children in one day? Or shall our nation be born at once? For it cannot be done at once. The children of Israel must pass through a hard deal. Before this happens, we must travel. We must pass through hard times. For as soon as Zion travelled, she brought forth her children a very hard deal. So that the character of the devil must be known. Why? The character of the devil must be known that the devil wants authority upon the earth. Does not care anything about God. God is not in his thoughts. For Francis assures it is, you don't have to believe in God to go to heaven. You see, we must see how fear does not care about God. Paul sends me more mixed messages on LGBTQ rights. We must see how Pharaoh, church and state, he does not care about God. God is not in his thoughts. Pope Francis indicates support for same-sex civil unions. God is not in his thoughts. Pope Francis tells atheists, atheists to abide by their own consciences. Christianity is a, re a relationship, not a set of rules. Pope is against the word of God because it's full of sets of rules. Pope Francis says destroying the environment is a sin. So they are really making, taking matters to their own hands. So those who are sinners in the earth who are destroying the earth, as they think, because they don't want to change their habits, what will happen? They will be killed. Selfish and dishonest swept away. Okay. Um, friends. Black word says it is not because of niggardliness uh, on the part of God that there is death of the Holy Spirit in our churches. Why? Because like the time of the Jews, they forgot to look to God. So they forgot they were taking things to their own hands. They forgot the mission of uh, the gospel. This death, the churches alone can change. God says to his people, this death, eh, arouse and create an interest in all things. Look up, friends. Where is our faith? Where do we sustain a proper relation to Jesus Christ? Look to Jesus. Do we follow him in self denial and stability? Do we talk the truth with the understanding? When God pours out his spirit upon the churches, they will be afraid to his glory. The spirit of Elijah. The sword of the spirit during aged with power will cut both ways. But these people are losing, using our data seat. They are looking for many years of peace and security upon the earth. Yet, probation is closing. In God's venue, there is honest work to be done. The third angel's message is to be proclaimed with a loud voice over the land. Every vestige of a peaceness that breeds dishonesty, every thread of shelvishness is to be swept away by the latter rain. Or a death rain like the time of Elijah is to be consumed. Let every altar be thrown down, that uh, down. Save the one that sanctified the gift and the giver the cross of Calvary. The only altar which is to remain is that which sanctifies the gift of the Spirit and the giver. That is the cross of Calvary. So, new territories, to, new territories to be added to God's kingdom. But the Pope said, you not add new territory. We are all Christians. 
or even atheists, we are all Christians. Don't add new territory. Don't preach. Don't preach. If you preach, you are troubling us. The Pope says those who insist on keeping the truth are threatening the church. If you say you have the truth, you are threatening us. If you say you are extending your tent, you are threatening us. So new tracks of moral vanity are to be cultivated as the garden of the Lord. So we have a task before us, even the, before the whole universe. We need to serve the Lord and bring people to God. Ah, uh, Pope asked Protestants for forgiveness for persecution. So this is Jezebel. Jezebel shed a lot of blood in the dark ages, but is rising again to power rising again to power and the false evangelicals these apostles evangelicals they are following this path they have forgotten history they have forgotten catholic persecution in the time past they are uniting with this matter uh-huh and i found and forget was written mystery papron the great the matter of arrows this is just bear the matter of arrows yes are the daughters who are drunken with the blood of the saints uh -huh. yes are the daughters who i mean uh, who are following rome with uh, uh styles and the policies who would you serve the protestant judges are in great darkness or they would discern the signs of the times the roman church is far reaching in our plans and modes of operation friend modes of operation who would you serve for francis the chaplain of the united nations who would you serve would you serve god of heaven who is the teacher or would you serve for francis who is elevating himself this philosophy psychology uh, they are following this time psychology psychology philosophy high learning which has made people mad our leaders are not accepted from this because they are following the teachings of the world they are stopped looking to uh, the god of heaven god is saying in this time the voice from Pato greek which has been regarded as the authority in counseling how the work should be done is in the wrong at the voice of god uh -huh. this is a message to 70 day adventists the old head is sick and the old heart is faint uh -huh. They are companions of thieves. They are uniting with Parnapas, who is taking God's glory. And uh, they are giving God's glory to idols. Uh, it has been some years since I have considered the general conference as the voice of God. That these men should stand in a sacred place to be as the voice of God to the people. As, as we once believed the general conference to be, that is past. That is past. It's no longer today. As we saw in the pandemic, they united with the Rome. Why? For Francis, moral leadership for the economy. He says it's a moral leadership to get the job and the shots. Francis, Francis, for instance, purpose is more authority on world stage. So what were they following? For Francis, increasing in world is more leader. They are looking to Rome. More, Rome with leadership. But Francis becomes a moral guide to inclusive capitalism. They are looking to Rome. So UN chief aids purple in Sekiriko is portraying climate change as critical moral issue. As Revelation 17 says that uh, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the nations the earth have been made drunk with our teachings, with our fornication. What is this? UN chief aids purple teachings. Papo doctrines, Papo and Sekirko, spotlighting climate change as critical moral issue. They are following Rome. Pope Francis, group of leader, they have demoted Jesus Christ. There is a time where, where in one man ruled over another to his own heart. Who are they following? They are following Rome. Choose you whom you will serve this day. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The, the bitterest persecution will come. But when Zion arises and puts on her beautiful garments for for sinners who are perishing she will shine forth in the beauty of holiness god is seeking for such a time that we may look to heaven friends revelation 18 verse 1 and after these things i saw another angel come down from heaven having great power and the great earth was lightened with this glory so the earth must be lightened with this glory and angels come down like in the time of gideon we must be threshing uh wine fro we must be threshing uh, wheat and hiding it from the Midianites, from the kings of the east, from these three movements like unclean spirits. We must hiding wheat and feeding the people that wrote in this time. And they cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Papa the Great is fallen, is fallen, and they become the habitation of devils, and the all of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful part. So let's unite with God. Ah, then he remembers that hey, these people are following a strange God whom his fathers knew not. They are uniting with Rome and uh, they are uniting with Rome. I don't have time, time to explain this. God decides us to have more life and more power because the glory of God has risen upon the, uh, the church. If the truth is received, uh, an sightly barrenness will uh, and sight will not continue to exist. Christ is worth eternal life to the receiver. 
Bible Training School, December 1st, 1903. Choose to serve the God of heaven. Do not follow you. Serve. This is a jacking a theology of this time, which Pope Francis is saying that we must shift. A paradigm shift. We do not follow this. Remember Lord Israel, wife. They were looking upon the things of the earth. They forgot God. For seven years, a man continues to go up and down the streets of uh, Jerusalem, declaring the wars that were to come to Jerusalem, that city. By day and by night, he changed the wild dies. A voice from the east, a voice from the west, a voice from the four winds, a voice against Jerusalem, against uh, the temple, a voice against the pride groom and the prides, a voice against the whole world. Shall we not give them a post upon these prides of this world who are uniting with the realm? Yes, we must warn them. We must warn them because the time has come. It is the last days. Popery had become the world's despots, and the emperors poured their degrees, uh, power to the degrees of the Roman Pontiff. The destinies of men, both for time and for eternity, seemed under their control. For hundreds of years, the doctrines of Rome had been extensively and impressively received. It's right reverently performed. It is festivals generally observed. It is clergy were honored and reproduced sustained never since as the Roman church attained to greater dignity and magnificence or power. Europe in need of leader Euro, Europe in need of leaders who go ahead. We start they are following the papacy. In Rome a new museum recovered treasures. People treasures are being people are returning to Rome. These are pots they are being fed. These are pots. You know what treasures mean? These are vessels which are being returned to Rome. They are returning to Rome rather than returning to the God of heaven. These are vessels returning to Rome. Chosen vessels return to Rome, friend. National emergency. Papron again. To Papron again. In Papron University again. Cut this language. To Papron again. Oh no. National emergency. Pope Francis is a man of his own world. So whose teachings are they eating the teachings of Rome? This man is acting trying to act God as the Prince of Peace. Pope Francis calls and the days of war in Ukraine a negation of God's dream. The dream of Pope Francis. So he's trying to act God, the papacy. A recent peace calls the Garden of International Peace and Security has been installed at the UN. Who is that? The papacy. By the, by the noon of the papacy was the midnight of the world. Arise and shine. It's midnight of the world. Arise and shine. For the light has come. I saw the rapidity with which this direction was spreading. A train of cars was shown me, going with the speed of lightning. The angel paid me, look carefully. I fixed my eyes upon the train. It seemed that the whole world was on board, that there could not be one left, said the angel. They are pining in pandos ready to pan. All the world wandered out at the papacy. For Francis, the chaplain of the United Nations, welcome to the future. Welcome to what? To the future of European high speed rail travel. They are looking for marvelous things, but they don't know that probation is closing. We are all Catholics now, one Jezebel. We are on the same pot, eating from one pot, from one pot. There is a death in the pot, eating from, from the papacy's words. The danger of defining Pope Francis as the world's small reader. No one becomes a Christian alone. If you walk your own way, like Jesus Christ was walking in his own way, they said it's expedient for one man to, par to perish, not and the whole nation to be destroyed. So papists, Protestants, and warnings would alike accept uh, the form of godness without the power. And they would see in this union a grand a, this union a grand movement for the conversion of the world and the ushering in of the long expected millennium. That is why the Jews in the time past they united with the, the Evites, the Perishites and such like, then stopped doing the mission of God. But he said, Elisha said, then bring me in this time as we have seen this happening what should we do in this time? Bring me let's go to the original diet which was needed, the original manna, the original food which God desired which cannot be churning our, me our stomachs. And they cast it into the pot and they said, pour out for the people that they may eat this food must be poured to the people so that they can be eating. This food must be given to the people. And there was no arm in the pot. 42. And there came a man from uh, Pal, uh, Pal Shalisha. From Pal Shalisha. Pal Shalisha. And brought the man of God bread of the first fruits. What is this bread of the first fruits? Who is this man of God? There came a man. Who is this who came? As a guide, there is this is the spirit of the Lord which came for to harvest for the first fruits. Twenty loaves of barley and four years of corn. Four years of corn? 
what does this four years of corn mean to you? God is waiting to harvest these four years of corn. When they are about to bring up, God is coming to harvest the earth. Are you ready? Yet ready. 43. And the servant said, What should I set this? What should I set this before an hundred men? He said again, Give the people that they may eat. Give the world, nations, kindred, and tongue, and the people. Thus says the Lord, They shall eat and they shall live thereof. Let's give the people to eat. Give them to eat. So he set it before them, and they did eat and left thereof according to the word of the Lord. Oh, wonderful. Who will you serve this day? I ask you today, I embell you, look to Jesus. Do not look to men. Do not look to men who are looking for many years upon the earth. For yet, God is seeking for us to look to him in these uh, times. Do not follow the teachings of Rome. Follow Jesus Christ. Yet, we see a quiet revolution. We see people going to elevate serpents of their creating. And they will say, crucify them crucify them. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let's humble ourselves even as we pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you because you have spoken. Thank you for thy grace. Prepare us for thy kingdom which is ready. Lord, help us to, time, to stand ready, to stand firm this time when Jezebel and our daughters, when they have stood up, elevating themselves, when they have elevated the captain who is to lead them. Help us, Lord, to look to thee and uh, to eat from your table, the manna from heaven. Oh Lord, thank you. Father, open our eyes that we may see. Lead us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I believe. Amen. Amen. Do not go to the dark ages. The protest continues. I save to serve prophets again, ministry says. Peace be with you. My name is Evangelist King or CMO. Share.